According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, consistent breast cancer screening, such as mammograms, can reduce breast cancer deaths by 26%. However, in patients with dense breasts, meaning the breast has more dense tissue than fatty tissue, typical mammograms can often miss buried tumors. A new study published in The Lancet compared various types of scans among more than 9,000 women with dense breasts and found that mammography enhanced with iodine-based dye can detect three times as many invasive cancers. The so-called contrast-enhanced mammograms detected 19.2 cancers per 1,000 exams in comparison to 17.4 cancers per 1,000 detected through MRI scans and 4.2 cancers detected through ultrasounds. Of the cancers detected through the contrast-enhanced mammograms, 15.7 were found to be invasive, meaning the cancer cells have spread beyond their original location. Dr. Fiona J. Gilbert joins us now. She's the lead author of the study in collaboration with Addenbrooke's Hospital. She's also a professor of radiology at the University of Cambridge's School of Clinical Medicine. Doctor, thank you for being here. According to the American Cancer Society, 40% of women nationwide have dense breasts in the U.S. What are current mammograms limitations when it comes to dense breasts and how does this new type of scan improve things? Well, your description of dense breast was excellent. And the problem is cancers appear as small white areas on a mammogram. And if you've already got your mammogram is covered in white tissue because of the dense breast tissue, it's very hard for the radiologist to see these cancers. And what we're trying to do, the reason for screening is we're trying to pick these cancers up when they're very small. And it, they're just really hard to see when you've got lots of white breast tissue on the breast X-ray. So the beauty of the, of the contrast techniques, that's the contrast mammogram and the MRI scan, is that cancers have more blood vessels and the blood vessels are very leaky. And so when you inject the contrast into the bloodstream, the cancers light up and it makes it much easier for the radiologist to spot these cancers when they're at a small size. And we were really excited about this study because the cancers that we were finding were very small. So that bodes really well for women's outlook and it reduces the amount of treatment that they'll require. According to New York Times, contrast enhanced mammography is available in some centers in the States, but its use for breast cancer screening hasn't been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Do you know why not? Well, I think they're probably still waiting for more evidence. This is our study is one of the first kind of population studies that use contrast mammography and demonstrated that, first of all, it's well tolerated. There's relatively few side effects um, and that it does have this high cancer detection rate, really comparable to MRI, which is used for women who are at a genetic risk of developing breast cancer. But I think the FDA is probably wanting more or the insurance is probably wanting more evidence. And there are big trials trials going on in the United States at the moment, which is terrific. What are some of the risks in terms of an increase in overdiagnosing, for example? Well, that's always a problem with screening programs. And by overdiagnosis, we mean that these are cancers which screening finds which a woman would never have known about had she not attended for her screening test. And so she has to live and her family have to live with this diagnosis of cancer really unnecessarily because she was never going to die of the disease. And so when you're doing screening, it's very important from a public health perspective to have a balance, to make sure that any test that you're introducing is not just increasing these small cancers which are never going to cause any harm. And so what we need to do is when we're doing these big studies is make sure that the, the killer cancers, the, the bigger cancers that occur between uh, the screening examinations are actually reducing. Uh, so we're trying to reduce under diagnosis of cancers. You know, when women present with lumps in their breast when the cancers have grown too large because they haven't been detected in amongst the dense breast tissue. Is, is more investigation and studying needed or do you hope that in a certain amount of years this test will be more ubiquitous? Oh, it would be it would be terrific if we could um, adopt this uh, these these studies now. Um, I think our study is really contributing to the evidence. But I think when um, you know when when people are making decisions about what to do with the population, it's important to take both the costs of doing the studies 
plus the benefit. And by costs, I mean, what are the, the harms that we could be doing to people? And you mentioned overdiagnosis. Another problem is that people have allergic reactions to contrast sometimes. I mean, they're, they're rare, which is great. But we always have to make sure we're not doing harm. And that, in fact, the benefit really outweighs um, any harm that we could be causing. Well, Dr. Fiona Gilbert, thank you. Thank you.